Hello everybody, Hyper Mario Sunshine here, and back with some more of the Legends of the Breath of the Wild. In the last episode, well, we finished up the Middle Trials, and we got our Master Sword upgraded to its second best stage at 50 damage. So, we're going to start the final trials. Yep, here we go. I've never done this before, same goes for the Middle Trials from the last episode, so let's do this. So yeah, we're going to be showing once again three of these, like the first three, and then afterwards we're going to be speeding things through. Uh, I know that like the past two episodes, technically, I've been speeding through things. But yeah, honestly, it does get very tedious, and I don't want to be here all day continuously trying to uh, to do this. So yes, it gives us the same dialogue. I'm not going to skip it just because it feels more thematic that way. So yes, we're going to be unlocking the true splendor of the Master Sword, the final piece of that true splendor. So yeah, this is the hardest of the three. People actually get really... This is really hard, honestly. It is. And uh, we already got some weather stuff going on, so yeah, you can already tell what's coming up. We're going to be having some thunderstorms, lightning shooting down on us if we don't have the right weapon. So yeah, I would recommend starting off trying to get the wooden weapons that are around here first before going after any of the uh iron like metallical weapons so yeah like this guy over here yeah you get the skeletons first and i think i should have healed up first thing uh best idea Okay, I guess there's one more enemy, that's why they're all wandering about. Come on, Jesus Christ. He, it's like they're, sw they're playing switch the heads around. Oh my god. Come on, I got the best thing to do this. Thank you. That was the plane war. I think that'll be good for cutting up that, uh, boxes. Hopefully there's some healing stuff we can get from there. Uh, apparently the range is going to continue like that. We got some arrows, an apple. I wonder if any of these trees have any. <coughs> oh my god! Yeah, you barely hear me sneeze during recordings. Uh, anything up here? Oh my god, I forgot that there's rain. Yeah, I doubt that there's anything up here. Uh, better idea, let's see if we can right, grab more weapons. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else. Let's move on. So that was the first one. I think I should have I honestly forgot to heal up, but maybe it might provide at least a little bit more of a challenge. Did that- oh my god, I thought that one got like struck by lightning for a second. very unsafe to be standing near any water. Yeah, we're very low on health. Uh, we need to be very careful with this. Unless we're going to probably have to do the rest off screen. Let's do that. Oh, wait. That was a big mistake.
Okay, we got those two down. No, stop being trading your shit around. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Die, please. Yeah, I kind of messed that up. That was a botch. Alright, there we go. So what's supposed to happen there, if you were to strategically plan it out like, you know, like a real person, you would have them spawn and then throw that thing down, uh, the fire, so that they all die in the explosion. But I wasn't so smart. I are not smart. Uh, so I thought there was something there that we could uh, use for a magnet magnetism. All right. Moving on, we're showing off one more, and we're about to get electrocuted there because I saw some sparks forming around our shield. So here we go. We got a base now that looks like it's in a jungle of sorts. Oh my god, it's we already got a. Well, we don't have any shields. I hope there's some like palm fruit or something up here. Some kind of fruit. I would really appreciate that. Uh, anything... Let's see the enemies around here. Okay, it just appears to be only those things. Unless there's undead. That would be the only other thing I would probably get if there was. What the fuck? What did we get zapped by? Holy shit, that range. Uh, what just caused that fire? Oh, I'm guessing it was probably lightning that struck down. Alright, get this. Please have some to get with. Wait, is this metallic? I saw electric electricity surrounding it. Oh my god, it is. It very much is. And this, we got a night shield. Nice. It's really giving you all the more dangerous stuff. Like, it's like giving you, like, hey, you could use the stronger defenses, but at the cost, you will probably get struck by lightning. Oh, shit. Zawardo! Tell me there's more if he's still walking around. Yep, there's more. Thank you for that. Great, there's more. Oh my god, I hate the strategy that they have. Like, it's so efficient, but like. I hate it. Please die, is that the last one? Oh my god, there's people. Really gotta be tedious with these guys, huh? Alright, so there we have it. That's three of the levels. Hopefully, we aren't bothered by any more after this. I mean, technically we are. Oh my god, it gets a little laggy. Uh, what's this one here? Dragon Bone, Mocha Bone. Let's take that. And let's be on our way. I think we're gonna start uh, speeding up things from here on out. Uh, if I do die, then we'll probably cut until I get back and then really continue speeding up things. So yeah, be right back, guys. And uh, enjoy the speed up uh, montage.
Hello. So, yes, I'm back. So, after four hours of recording, I didn't even realize I was recording on the last one either. Guess what? After four and to like four and a half hours of recording this shit, I have given up. I'm literally losing my sanity because of this shit. You guys want to know what happened? Well, for after that fi that failed attempt that you guys probably saw, sped up, after I died to that Lionel, I tried again. And I kept dying at it. Because I was either underprepared or I lost all my other healing items afterwards. And I could not go any further. I was literally losing my sanity for these four hours. So I decided, fuck it, let me do the glitch. If you guys want to see this glitch, here's how you do it. Shout out to Link is 7 for doing it. Well, for teaching me it. Well, through his video. Which I'll probably leave in the description. But anyways, I decided to do the glitch and I successfully did it. So here's how you do it. Okay, so you go all like that. And you have to check the skew. So basically, if you, you, you'll see Link move in a certain direction when he does it. So you move your shield. There we go. He's leaning left. That's how I want it. So if he does that, that's how you do it. If you don't, if you get a bad skew, like leaning towards the right, or if, you know he doesn't do like a far left lean, then you have to ride on your shield and do it over again. So I did that, and. I made it to the Hinox, so you make it to like the first area, even though you did the final trials, you did you go to the first final area with the Hinox, and you beat it. So I died twice on this thing, and I got stuck multiple times because I lost my skew. So I had to do this like six more times, so I got another half hour to an hour of recording off of it. And then guess what? I finally did it, and then I did it record. I didn't fucking record it. And then I tried explaining it again, and I realized I wasn't recording. I don't know what's wrong with my luck today. This day seems to hate me. I hate these skeletons. I'm tired of these little common skeletons. I want them all dead. The berserk skeletons are cooler than you. Shut the fuck up, you stupid little common skeletons. Anyways, you're supposed to go here. So you're wondering, how do I do this? Now that I have this, this. run up to the wall. And you have a two-frame window. So I have it good there, but the problem is, is that I need to get this properly done. And there we go. You clip right through the wall. Good. So now what do you do? Well, since that's done, you have to end here. I'm literally sick and tired of explaining this. I'm literally sick and tired of doing this, and I'm afraid that I might die to the freaking kid on the end. Like, I am literally going insane. I hope that I don't die here. Not dying on this part. This part's simple. This part, you know, going to, towards the dungeon where the Hinox is, is easy. For me, I got stuck like twice and it made me rage, and that's why I wanted to break the control in half. But, the actual Hinox part is annoying. So, you jump right here, once you reach to this part. And then you'll start seeing the glowing white rooms, and that's usually where the final rooms are. So, I'm not sure which room, I know the one all the way at the left is the one where you have to go. But, any of the others, there are other rooms, meaning you could challenge the first room, the, the, the middle trials room, or the final trials room. So you're like, okay, why would I try those, because I barely have any weaponry. Well, don't! Just challenge the first one, because it's very easy, because if you challenge the other two, you'll likely die you don't have any weapons on you and if you do you probably only have like one or two and you probably won't be able to do any sufficient amount of damage Ugh. anyways next up you see there's this giant slope you could actually climb on it not even climb on it you could run on it as we mentioned with this glitch before you just mash the hell out and you don't use your stamina simple right and that's what you do you keep climbing up until you reach the top and this is gonna, we're going to be here for a while, so I'm going to explain more of the bullshit that I had to deal with. So, not only did I die twice to this Hinox, I died because of the, tr the, fr the first one, I died because of my own stupidity. I'll blame that on myself. The second time was because of a tree. Because I was on the tiniest portion of the tree, I decided to link the sites to climb on it. I'm like, why are you doing that? And I literally got slowed down and the Hinox was able to hit me with his own tree, and I died. 
So, yeah. So now that you made it on the top, what do I do now, you may ask? Well, you see that there's different rooms. You don't want to go to any of these rooms. You actually want to head all the way to the left. And as you can see, there's like there's like this weird floating water around here. Well, you know, that's actually what we have to do right now. We have to go on that said water. But the thing is, we're not close to the thing quite yet. You'll see it in a bit when you get there. But yeah, if you have the balls, like, I don't know if you're that insane or something, or that ballsy, or just, if you want it somehow a challenge and somehow beat, like, you know, any of those things in there, go ahead, be my guest. But if you want, if you're going insane just like me, this is what you have to do. So it may actually be storming, potentially, while you're up here, so you might get struck by lightning. I'm not sure how you get rid of it or how you could, you know, be safe from it, but there's a chance you might get struck by it. So that's why I said you're just keeping wood stuff, uh, or if you know, you end up do, doing the same thing like I am, and it's still storming up here, I guess, you know, you just have to be very unlucky to get struck by lightning, which, thank god I did not get struck. I was close to getting struck multiple times, but thankfully I didn't. So, now that you're here on this one, on this exact one, you need to create ice blocks. So let's do that. And then you see, oh my god, a room spawn. I think you saw just like a little bit of it. It looked very familiar. Oh no. If this happens, don't worry, you can just swim over to the side over here. Nothing bad will happen. But yeah, it does get annoying because there's this like heavy rift that carries you all the way over here. Oh my god, please link. Building your trail, know, looking with ice, like ice blocks across the wall. You can see it is now full of water. And now it changed into a more misty like area. But it didn't change, no, it's more so that we're in, in a shrine like area. That's why the atmosphere changed like that. So you want to head to this specific one right here. So you want to kind of aim towards the wall. You want to do that? Oh, I missed that whole one. Thankfully, I did not lose anything because of that. So if that happens to you, just get back up. You don't lose your skew or anything. Just break the. You try going a little closer like this. All right. I kind of want to tap the A button and like slowly aim downward. Okay, so now it's up against this invisible wall. So you want to jump. Okay, as you can see, you're now in. So now, once again, with the two-frame window, you want to do this. Uh, you want to grab your shield. As you can see, here we go. And... Okay, I failed over there. I did not get the two-frame window. After finally clipping through, after finally clipping through, I'll even fucking save it like that. All right, all right, here we go. Album. I almost cost it right there too. Like, look at this shit. Hide it. Uh, here we go. This shit took me two hours to do, and then plus the four hours on top below it. Mm. I am never doing this shit again. Now all I have to do right now is not die. Anyways, you take this. I start beating loading shit out of him. This fat fuck. You don't want to do it too hard, but at the same time, you kind of want to like. It is like underbelly, you should be usually supposed to do it. 
Six, seven hours of recording. I'm done. I can finally show the cutscene and everything. Like, I did not have the cutscene. I originally had this bean and I had the cutscene and everything done. I was like, yep, here it is. So, yeah, I'm very sorry that this is probably the most blackest fucking video ever, but I do not want to deal with this evil again. Now, I don't know what it makes me the, the, the ballad of the, the hero, but yeah. Finally, so now the third one is fully opened, even though it did take us a glitch to beat it in like hours and hours and hours of gameplay. And finally, we are here. We can finally unlock the Mass of Swords true potential. Anyways, here we go. Now if you fall off of here, you don't you take damage, but you know, you get to get back up on the platform. I swear to god, just imagine if you're hanging on like half a heart or something, just die. Because you absolutely fell off like an idiot. Anyways, here we go. Finally time to get the Master Sword at its true power. And now I missed out my workout and everything, and playing Kirby uh, in the Forgotten Land too. You have done well. The depth of your heroism is beyond question. We are the ones who prepared the, this trial following a revelation from the goddess Hylia. To the one who, who, who has overcome the trial of the sword, you have proven your hand worthy of the legendary Master Sword. Now that the hero has gained the power necessary to combat the Calamity, our sacred duty has been fulfilled. Chosen Hero With the awakened Master Sword now boasting its true splendor. Protect the kingdom of Hyrule for now and for always. And there we have it. Now we're going to show the Master Sword at its true peak.
so, ah, uh, uh, so, you finally returned. Your mind, body, and soul are now ready to wield the Master Sword at its full potential. You never fail to impress. And there we go. The Master Sword is at its true splendor once more. Even though it took us some glitches to get there. Now you are truly one with the sword of yours. I must say its sacred glow suits you yet well. As ever, I shall watch over your journey from here. The princess. I am certain Hyrule's princess is pleased with your accomplishment as well. And we've done it. The trial of the hero is over. We don't have to worry about my insanity going again. So, now that the Master Sword is back at its full power, and we uh, heard a little glowing sound coming from it. It's like it's speaking to us. Uh, I think it's best we save what that is for another day. I'm pretty sure most of you played the Zelda games uh, like I have. Uh, know who that is, but I think it's best saved for another day. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. No, don't worry, it's not my next Let's Play or anything. But yeah. Now that that's done... Ugh. After five to like six, seven hours of record, I, I don't know, I lost track. I don't know it was around the five, seven hour mark of recording. I had to cut out, I had to stop recording to like do some of it off screen. Multiple attempts and I literally just was so angry. I never felt so much rage in a game in like a while. Like, like in a singular player game. Not like in a multiplayer where you know, you fight and you lose against someone. Like in a fighting game or something, or a Mario Party, or you know, anything, any kind of party game like that, and get so frustrated. No, it's not like that. This is entirely different because it's like a single player game. Uh, yeah, after multiple attempts, I finally decided to do the glitch. I learned it, you guys saw everything. There we go. Now, uh, now that we're done with that. I think it's time, before we head off to Hyrule Castle, we got one last thing to take care of. We're going back to the Shrine of Resurrection. Yep, it is time. We're doing part two of the DLC. I, I remember in the beginning of the series, I, I originally said, oh, I don't think we're going to do the DLC, and now I am. Yeah. So we are now doing the DLC... Even though I said in the beginning says, yeah, I'm not doing the DLC, I'm just gonna do everything, but nope, let's do the DLC, I said. I have to reach this part. So, we're back at the Shrine of Resurrection. So, let's head back to where we were. Oh. What the hell, a Korok was with us? Okay. Anyway, place that there. The Sheikah Slate and Champion Verification complete. Activating the Divine Beast Tamer's Trial. As we can see, associated locations have been marked on the map. And something new has appeared. Take hold of the provided weapon to begin the trial. Alright, let's take it. Your weapon stash is full. Ah! <laughs> Pain. Uh, someone's answering me on Discord or something. <laughs> yep. This is pure evil. I am Vaz Kushia. I now address the one who wishes to master a divine beast. To undertake this task requires unwavering dedication. 
That weapon defeats foes with one hit. However, the reverse is also true, as it as the wielder is fell to one strike. You can use this weapon's ability only twice within a set period of time, only when it's glowing. When enough time passes, the weapon will regain its sheen along with its power. At the four marked locations within the Gerudo Plateau, with the Great Plateau, defeat all monsters present to prove your power. If you are not up to the challenge, leave this plateau, the weapon will return here, and the trial will end. We gained the one hit obliterator. A weapon that defeats foes with one hit and causes the user to die from one hit. It loses its sheen and power after two consecutive uses, but will eventually regain both. It has infinite power. UNLIMITED POWER! And the Korok disappears. Anyways, after a very rough, rough amount of recording, we're gonna save this for the next episode. So love my videos with that like button. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, I really appreciate it. Next time on The Legends of the Breath of the Wild, we're gonna start The Ballad of the Hero. See you guys then.